Ladies, gentlemen, and anyone who's ever been promised the next Bitcoin while scrolling through Telegram at 3 a.m. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I bring you an expose so outrageous, so baffling, that it makes other crypto scams look like Sesame Street. Let's talk about Dectum, the so-called world's fastest blockchain and, quite possibly, the blockchain equivalent of a used car dealership run by clowns. If you've heard of them, you've probably been inundated with their bold claims, revolutionary technology, 3.5 million transactions per second, and a game-changing blockchain called T12. But what's the truth? Spoiler alert, it's not pretty. The 3.5 million TPS lie. Let's start with their crown jewel, 3.5 million transactions per second. Yes, folks, that's their big promise. For context, Bitcoin does 7 TPS. Ethereum does about 30. And Solana, an actual high-performance blockchain, manages around 65,000 TPS on a really, really good day. But according to Tectum, they're not just faster, they're 50 times faster than Solana. How? They never explain. Their white paper? Useless. Their GitHub? Empty. Their website? Full of buzzwords like quantum consensus and blockchain hyperscaling, which sound like phrases you'd hear in a bad sci-fi movie. So how do they pull off 3.5 million TPS? They don't. They just say they do and hope you're too dazzled by the number to ask questions. And here's the kicker, even if they could achieve 3.5 million TPS, they can't, there's nothing to use it for. No apps, no users, no ecosystem, just a lot of marketing hype. It's like claiming you built the world's fastest car but forgetting to add wheels. Who is Alexander Gusev? Now let's meet the man behind the curtain, Alexander Gusev the self-proclaimed genius engineer who founded Tectum. Before this, Alexander had a dazzling career in. Wait for it. Phone sales and advertising. That's right. One day, he's selling flip phones at a mall kiosk, and the next, he's running a revolutionary blockchain startup. And here's where it gets really interesting, Alexander claims to be an engineer, but his LinkedIn profile has no degrees listed, no technical background, nothing to suggest he knows the first thing about blockchain. What he does know is how to get rich off other people's money. Thanks to Tectum's investors, Gusev has reportedly amassed a small fortune. Meanwhile, his true believers, his loyal flock of Telegram warriors, keep defending him like he's the second coming of Satoshi Nakamoto. The Cult of Tectum Speaking of Telegram, Tectum's community is unlike anything I've ever seen. It's a cult of true believers who will defend every ridiculous claim made by Gusev and his crisp mind team. Ask a critical question? You're banned. Point out inconsistencies? You're called a hater who doesn't understand the vision. But here's the thing, there is no vision. Every week, they invent a new narrative to keep the hype alive. One day, it's disrupting DeFi. The next, it's revolutionizing global payments. And when people start asking, okay, but how? They just drop some new buzzwords and hope you'll move on. The white paper, a masterpiece of gibberish. Now, let's talk about the white paper or as I like to call it, the document of delusion. If you haven't read it, don't bother, it's 20 pages of pure, unadulterated gibberish. Here's an actual excerpt, T12 utilizes a decentralized quantum scaling framework to hyper-optimize blockchain modularity, ensuring unbounded throughput. Translation? It's nonsense. They've strung together random technical words in a way that sounds impressive but means absolutely nothing. In fact, I'm convinced they wrote this thing to be intentionally incomprehensible so no one would question it. White papers are supposed to explain how a blockchain works. Tectum's white paper is more like a cryptographic crossword puzzle, except there's no solution. And here's the thing, legitimate projects like Bitcoin and Ethereum have open source white papers that developers around the world can study, critique, and improve. That's why they've thrived. Open source creates accountability and collaboration, two things Tectum avoids like the plague. Their code isn't just closed. It's locked in a vault with a keep out sign. The empty GitHub and the exe files. Oh, but it gets worse. CrispMind, the startup behind Tectum, has a GitHub page. Or at least, they pretend to. Because when you visit it, you'll find absolutely nothing. No projects. No repositories. Not even a README file. It's like showing up to a restaurant and finding an empty building with a coming soon sign on the door. And then there's the mining nodes. If you want to help secure the T12 blockchain, you can download their .exe files. Yes, you heard that right, executables. For those of you unfamiliar with tech, downloading random 
EXE Files is about as safe as leaving your wallet on a park bench with a sign that says, please don't steal. These files could be anything, viruses, spyware, ransomware. But hey, I'm sure Gusif wouldn't do that to you. Right? What's the point? Here's the brutal truth, Tectum has no point. The T12 blockchain has no use case. The white paper explains nothing. The GitHub is empty. The community is a carefully managed cult. And the only people making money are Alexander Gusif and his crisp mind team. And yet, people keep buying in. Why? Because they want to believe. But believing doesn't make it true. So, what can we learn from Tectum? Simple, if a blockchain promises you revolutionary technology but hides its code, has no use case, and asks you to download. EXE files, it's not the future of finance. It's just a shiny trap designed to take your money. Thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who thinks Tectum is the next big thing. And remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it's probably just Gus F's retirement plan.